Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In today's video, we are going to learn how to download and install latest version of Android Studio on Windows operating system. So let's start with video. First, we have to open web browser. Within web browser, type Android Studio download. Now see, it is showing official website to download the Android Studio. So download Android Studio. So just click on this. Now see, here it is showing option to download Android Studio Koala. So my operating system is Windows. So whatever suitable option is there, it is showing that option. So just click on this download Android Studio Koala. Now it is showing some terms and conditions. So if you scroll down this, here option is there to, to agree with these terms and conditions and then click download Android Studio. Now it is showing some badge. So just dismiss this and here it is showing the download available. So here Android Studio is downloaded. So just double click on this .exe file. Now it is showing message. Do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? So just click on yes button. Now Android Studio setup is started. So just click on next button. Now see when we are using the Android Studio at that time we have to add device. So if we are we are not adding any physical device, mobile or tablet. At that time, we can use the virtual devices. So if we want to use virtual device, we have to select this option. That is Android virtual devices and just click on next button. Now it is showing location for installation. So I want to install within this same folder that is a C drive program files. If you want, you can change the path also, but I want to keep it as it is. So just click on next button. Again, just click on install. Now it is showing message installation complete. So setup was com completed successfully. So just click on next button. And here I want to start the Android Studio. So, studio. so just click on this start. Select this option, start Android Studio. And just click on finish. Just click on don't send. Now see it is showing message. That missing SDK. No SDK found. So we need to download SDK. So just click on next. And you have to select the components. Whatever required. So. We are select selecting this Android SDK. API. Just click on next button. Again, it is showing different Android emulator and SDK components which will get downloaded. So just click on next. Now see again license and agreement for this SDK. So just you have to select the resources and accept for each. Now you have to click on this finish option. Now do downloading of component is started. It is taking some time for downloading components. Now required time, de required time depends on your internet speed. So it is taking little bit time. So you have to wait for this. Now see downloading of components is completed. So it is showing option as a finish. So just click on finish. Now it is showing welcome to Android Studio. So just click on new project option. Now see here it is showing different templates available. Phone and tablet template. OS tablet, television and automotive. So we want to use phone and tablet template. And for this I want to create an empty activity. So just click on empty. So select the option empty activity and just click on next option. No project for empty activity. 
so we have to give name to this project so i will give the project name as a first app again location where it will get saved and minimum sdk so minimum sdk it is nothing but sdk required to run this application so minimum version you can use version higher than this also so minimum version required is api 26 so if you want you can select this option help me to choose so it is showing different android platform versions available and distribution of it so by using this you can select the required sdk so just click on ok so i will keep it as it is and it is showing that your app will run approximately 95 percent of devices and here build configuration language required is a kotlin if you want you can change the language also but right now i'm using the kotlin as it is and just click on finish option again you have to wait for some actions to get completed it is showing completing the requested actions so just click on finish now see here it is showing assistant what's new in koila again it is showing the my first project first app again different files are created within this here it is showing the main file as a main activity dot kit file that is a language we are using as a kotlin so extension is dot kt file so whatever logic required to your program is given within this kotlin file main activity dot kt file just click on device manager here no devices are connected so just click on add a new device and here we are going to use a virtual device just click on virtual device and here I am going to use phone. So here you have to select the category. So I want to use the phone. Here you can select the resolution. Your expected resolution. So I want to use this. Any one of this option. So I am going to select this pixel at pro. And just click on next button. Now see here different APIs available. If you want to select any api just you have to click on this download option so that this api will get downloaded here i am going to use this version that is a vanilla script and just click on this next option if i am selecting this it is not downloaded so it is showing as a, a system image must be selected to continue if i click here it will download that image then it will enable this next option but right now i have downloaded this vanilla screen so it is showing option as a next okay if you want you can select any api here and just click on this download option so that it will get downloaded system image will get downloaded so just click on next button again here you can select the orientation portrait or landscape i want portrait so just click on finish option now see it is showing this pixel 8 pro has been added in device manager so just click on this now see it is connecting to em emulator so it will show the selected device virtual device now it is showing it is connected with emulator i want to execute this program on this I want to show output on this mobile so just I will click on this to run the app if you observe at the top center it is showing the option run app so just click on it so that app is executed on this virtual device and it is showing the output hello android here zoom in zoom out options are there so it is showing output as a hello android but if i want to update this message I can update this by using this main activity dot kt file so here instead of android here instead of android 
will type welcome to FTE that is the software technology empire which is the name of our channel again here same function is called that is greeting preview so same string I have to type here so we can copy the code or we can type also the same string I will pass it to welcome to SD instead of Android just save the program by using control s option you can refresh it and run the app it is executing this and it is showing the output welcome to st here zoom in zoom out options are there you can see the output so friends i hope this video was helpful for you if you have any queries related with this video, you can comment me in comment box. And if you really like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Thank you. Thanks for watching my video.